Earlier this week, we learned that Snohomish County may have to consider moving back to phase one if things don't improve. Today, as we go beyond fact or fiction, Cairo 7's Matthew Smith talks to an expert about the risks associated with what we're able to do in these later phases. The last few days, we've been talking about a growing number of coronavirus cases here in Washington state. Now, this isn't the same thing as what we're seeing down south and out west, but we have heard this. Going back to phase one is clearly uh, one of the options uh, that could be in front of us. Yeah, that's pretty big. The concern in Snohomish County, if things don't improve, and it's worth noting, if they're following the phase one, this idea of going backwards, it would mean no indoor eating, no more in-store retail, and less essential. It would also shut down salons and barbershops. Haircuts, that's been a hot button issue, obviously. And I get questions about it still, like how safe is it? So I asked the experts. It would not be one of the first things that I would choose to do that would feel safe to me. What about you and I, though? Dr. Mead has patients, so I want to dig a little bit deeper. What about the rest of us, especially those who want to get a haircut early just in case? Well, Dr. Mead notes the reason why there's concern with haircuts. It's that close personal interaction. Someone's near your nose, eyes, and mouth. Mask or not, you're close. But she notes the length of interaction can also play a role here. We do know that duration matters, so that time, length of interaction, the proximity to the other person, and then again, you know, whether you're indoors or outdoors, and certainly people are not getting their hair cut outdoors. Adding a quick fact or fiction for one of our viewers here, fact or fiction, thermal scanners can detect coronavirus. That's fiction, according to both the CDC and WHO, though we do see them often, so you have to ask why. That's because Fever can be one of the most common symptoms of coronavirus. So this is kind of a just-in-case type of scenario, trying to see if it's possible someone has coronavirus. So stay safe, and thanks again for questions. I'm Matthew Smith, Cairo 7 News.